everyone, I'm Gabriella from The Sewing Studio and I'm super excited to show you the latest strip quilt I made and some tools I used to make it that you should have in your sewing room to set yourself up for quilting success. For this specific quilt, I used the Strico Lightning Quilt Pattern, a Stripology ruler, and my Baby Lot Chorus sewing machine. Let's get into it. So for this quilt, you need one Kaif Jelly Roll and three and a half yards of a light blender fabric. I used my jelly roll in these colorful segments, as you can see, and then I had to cut two and a half inch strips to go with my two and a half inch strips from my jelly roll, and I used my stripology ruler to do that. You will need a quarter inch quilting foot and any ruler with a 45 degree angle on it. You also need basic quilting supplies like your cutting mat, rotary cutter, and thread. Let's cut some strips. So this is what a stripology ruler looks like. It has convenient little slots that are in half inch intervals that allow you to slide the blade of your rotary cutter in so that you can cut strips of any size quickly and efficiently. I will say first, this is the extra large ruler. It comes in a couple of different sizes. So you just get the size that you think that you need for your project. So basically for this quilt, I have to have two and a half inch strips by the width of my fabric. So I need two and a half inches by 44 inches. So I want to cut my two and a half inch strips like this. That means that I want to fold my fabric, the fold that it naturally comes off of the bolt down to my selvage so that when I line it up on my mat and I lay my ruler on top, I'll be able to cut my two and a half inch by width of fabric strips. So once I have my fabric folded under the ruler and lined up on a line on the fold, I know that my fabric is going to be cut in straight strips. One important thing to note about the Stripology ruler is it has little like teardrop shapes on the top and bottom for you to be able to nicely slide your rotary cutter in. You need to make sure that your fabric is folded small enough so that your rotary cutter is touching both ends on the ruler, and I'll show you. So you make that first cut at the zero, and I want two and a half inch strips. So I am going to just follow the square because on my guide, I see that the square is two and a half inch strips. Because the fabric is folded where I can meet the edge and the bottom with my rotary cutter, I know that that strip is cut, getting cut throughout. And then you just cut however many strips that you want. And then when you lift your ruler up, you magically have a bunch of two and a half inch strips. Essentially, you're making your own jelly roll out of your yardage. Once you cut your two and a half inch strips out of the blender fabric you choose, follow the measurements in the pattern to make your 45 degree angled cuts. I found it helpful to use a shorter ruler for this as it was easier to maneuver around. The pattern also includes a couple helpful templates you could use to make your angled cuts. Then separate all of your angled segments into right facing point and left facing point piles and piece away. You are going to sew all of the right facing angled segments together to make a bunch of longer strips and the same goes for the left facing angled segments. Then the pattern instructs you on how to sew the strips together to achieve the unique layout of the strip quilt. Now that I have all my strips and segments cut for this quilt, I'm gonna show you a couple of features and functions that I found super helpful on the Baby Lock Chorus while piecing this quilt together. One thing that I really love about my Baby Lock Chorus is the automatic never miss needle threader. All I have to do is press that button and my needle is threaded. Hold on, let's get a close up slow-mo shot of that.
Another great function that the Baby Lock Chorus has is the Guide Beam function. I'm able to select that by just pressing this button and I can adjust my guide beam to be wherever I want it. But in this instance, for this quilt, I want it right in the middle because that's where my needle position is. And that assists me in this piecing process because I need my stitch to be right there in the crevice. So if I go ahead and press go and line the beam up where I want my stitching to be to help me stay on track. Another great couple of functions that I love about the Baby Lock Chorus is the reinforcement stitch and the thread cutter. You can find those functions conveniently placed in buttons up here. That's the thread cutter and that's the reinforcement stitch button. The Baby Lock Chorus allows you to go into the settings and set them up so that whenever you begin stitching and end stitching, it'll reinforce your stitch and cut your thread. So let me show you. You go into your settings and you have to have reinforcement priority on. So it's pressed on, you close, and now those buttons are selected. So now when I start stitching, it's gonna reinforce And then where I want to end, I press this, it does the reinforcement stitch, and it cuts my thread. So another great function that I love about the Baby Lock Chorus is the lift and pivot function. And I know a lot of you also love this. That's this button right here. And when I have it selected, that means whenever I stop sewing, my needle is going to go down and my foot is going to lift up enough for me to move my fabric around. So I'm gonna start sewing. And sometimes in this quilt in particular, we need a seam to go to the darker section, not the lighter section. But the foot prevents you from doing that. As you can see here, I don't want that seam to be going here but when I stopped, my needle went down and my foot went up. So now I'm able to push that seam underneath my foot and continue sewing. And then when I'm done, do the reinforcement stitch and it cuts my thread. So I hope you got something from this video, whether it's to make your own awesome K-Facet lightning quilt, try your hand at a stripology ruler, or come in and see us and test out a baby lock chorus sewing machine. Happy sewing!